Hello everyone, this is Tabernacle so Studying with Pong, the theology at Sudo International University in Korea. Today, I'm going to tell you the key difference between Calvinism and Hyper-Calvinism. I think probably many people would think like that. Uh, if you are a Calvinist, you are a Presbyterian, then you don't have to do anything because everything has be already been planned. Predestination. But I think that's what hyper Calvinists are saying, not Calvinists. You know, uh, let me give you an example you know, uh, for better understanding. You know, several centuries years ago, there were a lot of people who never listened to the gospel because yet the gospel didn't spread that there. I think probably. Hyper Calvinists would think like that. There were some or many people who were saved, who are saved because they were determined to be saved. But Calvinists don't say like that. We say means of grace, word, the sacrament of the word supper, and baptism. Actually, word and sacrament. Two of the word supper and baptism are included word so in Lipon theology means of grace is word. Anyway that's why we try to share the gospel with others if we have the opportunity to do so. And I think it is also needed to know the difference between Gnosticism and Calvinism. I think in Gnosticism we think like this. Uh, the word of God and the gospel of God or Holy Spirit will come into someone's soul directly. Uh, in, Calvin, in Calvinism, we don't agree with that because if that happens then the distinction between God and human being will disappear. So we use the word, we use the concept in carved. Please. Google it. Uh, Augustine's and Jonathan Edwards's and Campbell Morgan's. And I think if you want, why don't you uh, try to find out the difference between Stoic and Calvinism? Anyway, we think like this. When we share the gospel with someone, if he or she is the one who is determined to be saved, then illumination holy of Holy Spirit will encourage the gospel to the soul. We believe God works with His word, by His word, uh, and we believe like this. You know, I think it is better to. I think it is better to compare with this concept. I mean that, uh, you know, when we see something, then the brain scientists will say like this: the light come into your eyes and it hits the tiny cells in your eyes, and then the picture of something is or are made it in your brain, made in your brain. Uh, similarly. We think if we sense something, then representation of something go into you. If you have the knowledge about that, then you can conscious it. But we, if you don't have knowledge about it, then you never conscious it. But problem is, you know the concept of total depravity, right? The light of our knowledge, our the private technology interpret the representation, the representations. So, uh, so if people experience the gospel, then even even there is no illumination of Holy Spirit of the Holy Spirit. Still, they can understand the gospel, but we don't say that the understanding 
a truth. So we say like this. Everyone knows God, but everyone does not God. Anyway, we believe every Christian has incurred the gospel in their soul. Yes. And we only can get the no, uh, understanding of truth as truth by illumination of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Thank you. If I if you if you hear me strongly, if you hear me, I'm saying strongly, then I'm so sorry. Excuse me. I'm taking. I've been taking English conversation classes for three months until three months now. Until now, so far, so please excuse me. I'm not the one who is speaking English very well. Yeah. Anyway, thank you for watching. See you later.